How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to connect your Pinterest account to your Squarespace store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So by doing this, you're effectively adding an embed preview of your Pinterest to your Squarespace store. And to do it is quite simple. All you guys have to do is you need to log into your book to both of your accounts. So that's Pinterest and Squarespace as an administrator. So once you guys are here, um, the easiest way to access the um, importing accounts to your Squarespace store for the configuration stuff, you can click on the magnifying glass icon and type down connected accounts. So it's actually the easiest way to do it, or you guys can navigate to settings, whatever you like. And uh, there should be an option here to connect the accounts. I believe it's okay. So uh, um, here's how, it, how you actually toggle the, the embed, but we'll get to that later. So first we want to connect our account. So connected accounts, and then we want to click on connect an account. And then we want to select Pinterest here. So right away, you'll see it and a new window will pop up asking you to log into your Pinterest account. So you basically just want to give it access and authorize it. So uh, it should be a big red, red button that says give access. So right away, you'll see that there's an option. What's this? Show social icon. No templates. Okay. So here we are. So it's connected. So additionally, uh, you guys can mess around with the toggle options for the push for the push function. So if you click on it, you want to click on put show push button and it'll actually show you an embed of um, what's going on in your Pinterest account. So whatever images are being shown will also be shown in your Squarespace store. You just want to make sure that this is um, checked. And additionally, um, as for the option that we talked about earlier, settings, Pinterest save buttons, you can um, configure it. So it reads so like um, where save buttons will appear when hovering over images on your site, rich pins, which include extra information about your content. So you can have it set to enabled for blogs or pages or products, depending on which elements you have available in your Squarespace. So yeah, there you guys do it. Uh, there you guys go. That's how you do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.